Hi, this is Ben and Charlie here, and this is our project. We made this, what was it, a year or two ago. And this is Charlie's cannon. This is a 25-pound field gun replica, and it's a pneumatic cannon. It has the air tank down here, and uh, we have a tennis ball barrel right here. Um, if you want to come a little closer, we'll show you some of the details. We're um, pumping it up to about 100 PSI just to be safe. We're not power hungry here. We know we could get a, a better mechanism, but if I see you're looking at the site here. I have a, I have a bubble level here so that we can get the, the barrel leveled. Um, actually, over here we have a little shovel so that we can uh, use it to get, the, to get the cannon leveled for straight shots over a long distance. We're really using the trajectory on this cannon in order to um, dial our shots in for um, for uh, long range shooting it like, like an art artillery piece. And um, if you look on this side here, we have our sight. We've got a peep sight in the rear and an adjustable um, front post. Um, this adjustment is for windage and elevation. And um, here on the side you have a window and uh, zero degrees. You see right here on the window, zero degrees lines up with the barrel. So that's the, that's the barrel. And then through our sighting window, we're able to dial into a target and we're, we're able to read our elevation uh, that the barrel is above horizon right there. Um, from there, we're able to change the angle of our barrel onto the target. And so if we shoot our first shot and it doesn't hit the target, we then take our sight, we move it to where the first sight did hit, and then we adjust the um, elevation of the barrel until the sight is back on the target again. At that point, we're able to, to strike our target within two shots. Um, we have our little ammo box right here for our tennis balls. And we have our two-piece uh, breakdown ramrod here. So, Charlie, why don't you back up here and um, okay. we'll hook our gun up. And we're going to pull it down the hill and take some shots with it. Move her into position. All right, let's load that on there. Let's go down the hill, okay? Go ahead. As you can see, we're on our way. Now, once we get back down that hill, we're gonna, we're gonna um, start filming again and show you some shot. All right, we're loading the tennis ball into the cannon. We never load when we're pressurized. We always make sure that there's no pressure in when we load you for safety reasons. Let's unstrap the, the rod. What's that, son? All right, here we go loading the cannon here. We never want to load when there's any pressure in the barrel whatsoever, just in case we have any issues. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull the rod out, sir, son. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I know, but we first we've got to pressurize it up. We need to push the button. Yeah. All right, this is a little bit of a tedious process, but we're already at about 15 psi. We're going to get up to 100. It's a level. Yeah, I got the cannon level, and if you look at the sight, it's dialed in on the target. You want to take a look at the sight, Robin? Should be pretty close anyway. You might have moved it a little bit. You see that wooden board over there? And as I recall, this is 50 yards. And as I recall, we're shooting at an angle of about six degrees. It's been, it's been a year or two since we fired this, so. We built this when we were four. All right. Now could I push the button? Yeah, well, let's make sure it's aimed, dialed in, okay? Yeah. First, let's make sure it's aimed right. Okay. okay. 
Oh, we're not quite on the target. There we are. You want to check that out, son? Yeah. I'll push the button. Not yet. Through the camera, I couldn't see that far out, so I don't know it's if I got fine. it or not. That's fine. You got it on? Yes. It's at the board. All right. I don't want you to fire this until I go over there because I want to watch where the tennis ball balances so we don't lose it. There's tall weeds. Okay? You wait. Don't shoot me. Yeah. And you told me you went. All right, so the first shot, we had it set for six degrees elevation. But what we're dealing with here is, is that the, the um, tennis ball impacted above where our target was because I haven't shot this in a year and I couldn't recall what degrees of elevation this is supposed to go to. So in order to, to put our next shot on target, what we have to do here is take the sight and instead of putting it on the target, we move it up to where our tennis ball impacted. So we saw where our shot went. Actually, that's that's quite a few less degrees. That's more like one degree. So I really overestimated what I was doing here. Now what we do is we move the elevation of the barrel down to where our sight is on target once again, and then we're going to shoot at that target. All right, Charlie, I'm gonna let you shoot at that once I go out there, okay? Okay, fire in the hole. <laughs> nice, just below the target. <laughs> He's going to get go find both of them, please. We have quite a bit of elevation adjustment on this, as you see, it's very fine. We're shooting at one degree elevation in order to go 50 yards with tennis balls. We have quite a bit of adjustment. That's about the top range for it right there, which is about 27, 28 degrees above above that angle right there. Can you find it? So there you have it again, the 25 pound British field guide.